Hello everyone, today we have another major update for the Flux model called Flux model NF4. This model is basically more faster than the Flux development model and it can give the same quality. It also uses less VRAM which can help people that have low VRAM graphic card. For those of you who don't know what is Flux model, actually it is the best model that we have uh, for the image generation. It was released uh, this month by the Black Forest Lab. The same team that was behind Stable Diffusion 3 and it is very accurate uh, for image generation. So today I will guide you through the installation part of the workflow and I will also show you how we can use this model. So to begin with all we need is the classic workflow for the comfy UI or the default workflow at the exception of the checkpoint loader. Here I am using the checkpoint loader NF4 which is spe specially dedicated for this flux model and I will show you how you can install it. First of all you can use this link on my description box. So this link was provided by Bytes and Bytes which is necessary for this checkpoint loader. Just copy the code here, go to your comfy UI manager, go to custom nodes, type in on the search bar CMD, next type in git clone and paste the code here after that you will have this file here once it is installed just enter this file type in cmd again and we will need to install the requirements just type in here pip install dash r requirements txt and it will install automatically all the requirements for these nodes However, to make it work properly, we have another major uh, step to do. Otherwise, the notes will load, but you will be stuck at the key sampler steps and you will not be able to generate images. To fix that issue, just go to Comfy UI, then enter Python embedded, type in here CMD, and we're gonna install and we're gonna use this model here to install this ByteSense notes. Just copy this code here and paste it on the CMD box. After that, close this window, then go to Manager, click Update Comfy UI. You can also update everything, then restart your workflow. After that, you will be able to use this checkpoint loader NF4 and Sampler will generate the images normally. Once you have everything installed and restart your Comfy UI, you can go here in the search bar, type in checkpoint loader NF4 and you will find these nodes. Once it is here, you can just go and download this model here. I used this model posted on Civit AI and I downloaded the Flux, the Flux development version V1. And at the time we are speaking, we have another version, which is the V2. And we will talk about this on another video. So make sure to put this model here. Once it is downloaded, go to checkpoint under, under model folder and paste your model here. Now refresh your comfy UI once or, th uh, or three times and you will be able to select this model. So now we can start generating images and we will see to get the necessary time for this checkpoint in order to generate the good quality images of Lux model. Before generating images, I will first delete this checkpoint loader and I have here prepared a series of prompts that I used before. So I will try to click Q prompt and I will show you the necessary time for this model in order to generate the first image. First time when I click Q prompt, I faced up with this error which is related to the GPU memory. For the record, I have an RTX 3060 with 6 GB of VRAM, but this model was dedicated to the low VRAM graphic card. So don't panic if you face this error. Just close up the error and click QPrompt again and the key sampler should work properly. Okay, now I will show you a series of images that I made using the NF4 version and we will compare it to the Flux Schnell version that I made on my previous video. Here you can clearly see quality of the image that was created using the NF4 version. We have this old granny here that was being electrolyzed using this button over here. 
if we take a look at the fingers you can, they, they are pretty consistent to me compared to this Chanel version however if we zoom up here we have a very bad fingers on this side but the overall image looks very good with the N4 compared to this Chanel version the smoke looks very realistic the skin of the granny and the wrinkles looks up and the color also looks realistic to me okay let's jump to the second image where we have a, an image of this cyborg woman and you can already observe the main difference between them the nf4 version created a very realistic woman with the good skin and and the details of the woman like the eyes and the eyebrow looks very realistic on the other side the chanel version failed to create the eye and the eyebrows here and if we zoom out this metal part here looks like plastic to me however when we zoom out here we have very realistic cyborg details the other image is close-up image of a woman's face i did it on purpose in order to compare the skin quality of this nf4 version if we take a look at the chanel version you can clearly see that the pore details doesn't doesn't seem natural and it looks like plastics however for the nf4 version the skin pores and the details of the skin look very realistic another example of the close-up images of a woman's and you can clearly see that the nf4 version looks also more natural here look at the details of the skin and if we compare it here we have bad wrinkles and bad pore details that was generated using the chanel version another example of this chanel version is to test out the hands generation and also the text generation which is a very good criteria in order to test out a model as you can see for the chanel version we have a good text here the, the older men have some bad skin quality as always and also the fingers are not impressive we have three fingers instead of four on the other side the flux version the flux nf4 version successfully created this hands that is laying on the ground and we have a good text quality too and this results plus the nf4 version long way from the chanel version and i strongly suggest you to use it for your image generation okay let's see another images that was created alone we have here this image of the woman and you can if we zoom out at the fingers we have consistent fingers that are lifting this uh, coffee cup the skin details looks good to me and the color also looks very quite realistic another example that was generated is this liquid here that is contained on this glass bottle and we have here some text and some smoke on the background you can clearly see the quality of these images here we have another close-up image in order to see the details of the skins and the eye and you can already tell that is a very good image another example of this raccoon with the different lightning setup and you can also tell how the quality is good if we zoom out on the hair it looks very realistic i also like this lightning and blur effect that was created on the background another example of this woman that has some sort of tattoo on his face you can clearly see the quality of this text and the quality of the overall image here another example that shows up the nf4 text so that's it for today tutorial and you saw with me that the quality of these images for the text generation for the fingers generation and also the skin details of the the human that, that we created in that case i strongly recommend you to use this nf4 version since it is very suitable for low vram graphic cards and it consumes less vram on the next tutorial we will compare this v1 version with the, the other v2 version that was released recently and we will also investigate the main difference between them so if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments down below thank you